After the Vietnam War, uh, elites were concerned about what they called a crisis of democracy. In fact, one of the most interesting books on this topic, or one of the most interesting books on, most of the insightful books, I think, on, modern, uh, on the modern democratic system, is called The Crisis of Democracy. It's a study, the only book-length study, published by the Trilateral Commission. Uh, it's an important group put together by David Rockefeller in 1973, and it represents the more or less liberal internationalists from the three major centers of modern capitalism, the United States, Western Europe, and Japan, hence trilateral. And remember, this is the liberals. This is the group out of which uh, Jimmy Carter and most of his administration came. Uh, the cri what's the crisis of democracy that they're concerned with in all of the democratic societies? Well, the crisis is that uh, during the 1960s, uh, large groups of people who are normally passive and apathetic began to try to enter the political arena to press their demands. Uh, and that's a crisis uh, which has to be overcome. The, the naive might call that democracy, but that's because they don't understand. The sophisticated understand that that's a crisis of democracy. Uh, the American spokesman, again Samuel Huntington, uh, wrote in his report that uh, Harry Truman had been able to govern the country with the cooperation of a relatively small number of Wall Street lawyers and bankers. In those days, there was no crisis of democracy. Things were working just right. But in the 1960s, you got all this turmoil. I mean, uh, young people and women and you know, uh, uh, labor. I mean, all kinds of weird people who were supposed to be sitting quietly in the corners uh, began to get involved and caused this crisis. I mean, the same crisis that arose in the 17th century and that repeatedly arises uh, when people begin to try to take advantage of the uh, uh, formal opportunities that exist. Uh, among the terrible things that were happening during the 60s causing this crisis, they said, was that you had this group of people who they called value-oriented intellectuals. Uh, people who are concerned with things like truth and justice and all that sort of nonsense, uh, and they're opposed to the good guys, the technocratic and policy-oriented intellectuals, they called them the commissars, the ones who just do the job, you know. Uh, but you had these value-oriented intellectuals, and they were doing all sorts of horrible things like uh, undermine, delegitimizing the institutions that are responsible for the indoctrination of the young, like schools and universities. Remember, this is an internal discussion, so they kind of let their hair down. Uh, their general proposal at the end of all of this, these lengthy and thoughtful discussions was that what we need is more moderation in democracy to mitigate the excess of democracy and to overcome the crisis. Uh, in plain terms, what that means is that the public has to be reduced to their proper state of apathy and obedience and driven from the public arena if democracy is to survive in the appropriate sense with the specialized class, you know, the cool observers, us smart guys, uh, the technocratic and policy oriented intellectuals doing our job in the interests of the people who have real power. Uh, that's the liberal side. I won't go into what the reactionary side says.